Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. This is our Magento 2 webinar put on by web to market My name is Dan and I am a Magento Certified Solutions Specialist here at web to market We here at web to market are extremely excited to talk to you about Magento 2. Magento 2, as many of you know, has been a long time coming, and after five years of development, testing, user groups, and bug fixes, Magento 2 is finally here. Today I will show you only a few of the new features Magento 2 has to offer, but if you are interested in learning more on how Magento 2 can help you and your business, please feel free to reach out to us and we can do a personalized demo. I would first like to say that while Magento 2 is a new platform built from the ground up, all the same great features of Magento 1.x are still available or approved upon. Things like group pricing, tier pricing, a fully featured admin, multi-store support, built-in SEO, promotional code system, content management system, and many more of the features of Magento 1.x that we all have grown to love are still available in Magento 2. So let's take a look at Magento 2. For those of you who haven't had the opportunity to see a Magento 2 site, this is the new Magento 2 site front end. As you can see, the theme is quite a bit different from what was included in Magento 1.x. Now while most clients customize their site so that they have a look and feel that meets up with their brand, there are a couple things I'd like to notate about the new theme that will be pertinent to everyone. As you can see, there is no longer a slider in the default theme. This is because Magento, based on their research, found that people find sliders confusing and sometimes the slides go too fast. So by using tiles, it allows people to select items and select areas as they see fit rather than forcing them to have to scroll back and forth on a slider. You can also see that the site is very picture intensive. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words, so taking pictures and making it the forefront of the home page makes complete sense and will help drive sales. Following with these principles, the default category page is also very photo rich, showing large images of the products. You also have the ability to hover over a product and be given different options, such as add to cart, add to wish list, or add to compare list. As a customer continues to navigate your site into a product page, they will continue to see large, robust photos as you can see here on the left. They will also see a new, updated, and much cleaner version of the product page, including easy areas to see price, stock, add to cart, and then also details, more information, and review area. Then towards the bottom, any products that you have associated to the product in the related product area, upsell area, or the cross-sell area, you will see underneath. Once again, making it very easy for the customer to see the product they're purchasing, to easily add it to their cart, and then check out. A new feature added to Magento 2 is the ability to natively add video onto a product page right from the Magento admin. How to do this we'll be looking at later on in this web series. However, here you can see where the videos are. You can have them set to be the default image or you can have them set so where you can select them and then play them. The nice thing about these videos is that they can be coming directly from Vimeo, YouTube, or other places on the web that people store videos. Another improvement in Magento 2 over Magento 1.x is that the default design in Magento 2 is 100% responsive. What this means 
is that your website will adjust to the size of the screen it is being viewed on. This way, if someone is looking at your website from a mobile device, they have the same great user experience somebody on a laptop or a desktop would have, and the same with a tablet. This is a very big deal in today's world, with more and more purchases being made on mobile devices. In fact, it's grown so important that Google changed its algorithm to include mobile friendliness or responsiveness of a website to different devices in their algorithm. If your site is not responsive or mobile friendly, it will not display in mobile searches on Google anymore. So having your site responsive and mobile friendly is very important when it comes to being found and getting customers to your site to purchase your products. Another area that they improved on Magento 2 is the checkout process. One thing you'll notice is you no longer have to select check out as a guest, check out and register, or log in as a user. These steps have all been combined into one. Now, your customer simply has to enter their email. Once they've entered the email, it goes into the system and checks to see if they are already a registered user or if they are not. If they are already a registered user, it'll go ahead and ask them for their password and pre-fill all of their information for them. However, if they are not, it'll give them the option to check out as a guest or to create an account once they've checked out. At this point, they just go ahead and fill in their information. And the shipping methods are automatically populated based on their shipping address. After choosing your shipping information, you come to the review and payment options. The payment options will be displayed here. Now I just have checking and money order set up. However, this is where you would see and enter your credit card information or connect with PayPal. Another thing to point out is Magento 2 now allows you to apply a discount code from within the checkout. In Magento 1.x, this option was only available in the cart and several times overlooked by customers, frustrating them when they couldn't figure out how to apply a discount code. So to speed up the process and to make it easier for them, they applied it right into the checkout before you hit place order. Just like in Magento 1.x, after you place your order, you get your order confirmation page with all of your information as well as an email to the email you provided. The big difference here with Magento 2 is now, once you've already submitted your order, you can create an account. This makes the order processing much faster for customers and it gives them the option to create an account after they've already made their purchase if they so desire. This will help increase your sales and increase the speed of which customers can use your site, find a product, add it to the cart, and check out. Speaking of speed, let's take a look at Magento 2 speed compared to Magento 1.x and the huge improvement of the full page caching. Magento 1.x store owners had to utilize the built-in caching as well as buggy and complicated third-party caching software systems in order to speed up their Magento 1.x sites. Magento 2 now utilizes full page caching right out of the box. Previously, full page caching was only an enterprise option, but now community version members can take advantage of the full page caching. The full page caching option caches pages that are created in the CMS or in the content management system category pages, product pages, and error message pages. As you can see on the graphic on your screen, Magento 2 is 25% faster out of the box when browsing and 52% faster when going from the home page to a category to a product and then adding the product to your cart. Magento 2's speed increase means better Google page rankings and increase sales. Next, let's take a look at the Magento Admin. 
As you can see here, it is a different look and feel than the Magento 1.x admins. They relayed it out to make it more tablet friendly and mobile friendly. Magento 2 regroups menu items into more client intuitive sections, making the process of editing and working with the admin more user friendly. There are two upgrades to the admin that I'd like to walk through with you guys today. The first one is the ability to edit, add to, and adjust the grids on the product pages, order pages, as well as customer pages. This will give the user the ability to sort, search, and view the information important to their company rather than by the default selections. In Magento 1.x, you had to download a third-party extension in order to do this. Now, it's built in natively. Here you can see the different elements that are displaying on the top. You can add, remove, or change depending on the searches you need to perform. The other addition I'd like to cover is the ability to add videos, which we discussed earlier on the front end. Before you had to use third-party applications or you had to hard-code a video link and embed it into the site code. Now you're able to simply click a button and follow through the process of adding the URL, the title, a description, and a preview image if you so desire. There is some additional steps to link to YouTube, however, it's very simple and easy. In addition to the features we reviewed today, there are hundreds of other improvements to Magento 2. Unfortunately, we don't have time to review them all today. Some other ones I'd like to quickly point out is Magento 2 has e an easier integration and upgrade path from Magento 1.x, simplified external integrations, streamlined customizations due to the file structure change, an updated technology stack, which includes the latest in HTML, CSS, and CSS pre-processing, the responsive design, which we discussed, and icon fonts. Another big improvement is the catalog scalability improvement. Due to the new code structure and new database structure, there is a 1900% improvement over Magento 1.x. This means with Magento 2, as your business grows, you can depend on your platform to grow with you. So now that we reviewed several of the new features in Magento 2 and briefly looked over some of the additional ones, let's talk about how you can upgrade your Magento 1.x site to Magento 2. Unlike past upgrades, Magento 2 is not an easy upgrade as the Magento 1.x upgrades have been. This is due to a complete rework of the standard Magento platform. As you can see here, even the simple file structure has changed in a very big way. It is because of this rework that Magento 2 can give you the new features, including 20% faster speeds, new streamlined checkout, bull page caching, updated admin, and so on. So due to the rework, all themes, extensions, and customizations will have to be rewritten to work with Magento 2. The good news is that most theme and extension companies are already working on this and it won't be long before all of the extensions are upgraded to work with Magento 2. So let's take a look at the process and path to upgrade a Magento 1.x site. Thankfully, Magento has provided a data migration path for default products, default orders, and default customers to be migrated from Magento 1.6 through Magento 1.9 into Magento 2. Now, as I mentioned, all customizations and designs, as well as extensions, must be recoded and re-implemented 
into Magento 2's new structure. Extensions must be replaced with the Magento 2 version if available, and as I mentioned, they're coming out faster and faster. Then, 301 redirects must be made from the old Magento 1.x links to the new Magento 2 links. This is to ensure that you don't lose any of your page ranking your current site has already gotten you. Now each company's migration will look a little bit different than others. So please contact us at web to market if you would like to discuss upgrading your Magento 1.x site to Magento 2. Thanks for your time and let's open it up to some questions.